It's a beautiful day in, um, right. where are we? Taipin, Copenhagen. No, that's Thailand, wrong country. Where are we? Vietnam. Vietnam. What is life? Questions that we ask at night. If that a nine to five shift, that when your pockets get ripped off, the boss gets ticked off. Cause his dad was only president, his inception embedded in his perception is dead presidents. So he makes the world pay for his residence. Indebted in artificial intelligence. Good morning and welcome to leg three, four of the ride across Vietnam. First mission this morning, finding some food in this town because we're heading out into the sticks today. And we don't know what that's going to be. As usual, it's chaos. What is it? Oh, perfect. There's prices on things in here. At least you know you're not getting ripped off. Which one do I go for now? Fresh milk from New Zealand. They're cleaner than you are now. I'll poison test it for you. Nice! Mm. It's almost like all fruit in the UK is genetically modified shit. Don't know how I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> so we've got about 60, 65 miles to do today. Once again, taking us a while to get out of this town, you're just crawling along. You can never build up much momentum without getting stuck in traffic or behind scooters. Our destination today is Tan Hoa. So we're still heading towards Nimbin, which is supposed to look incredible. You just don't know what surprises the days are gonna hold. So let's see what happens. Talking about, um, about the other day, weren't we, about how there's no congestion seemingly in Vietnamese cities. The traffic's like water though, isn't it? It just flows like water. Okay, so if water comes, against, comes up against an obstacle, it doesn't just stop. Just goes around it. Everyone just drives and, around you know, it. That's exactly what people do here. It, it, it all flows. There's nothing aggressive about it. We were just talking off camera about how much more relaxed we were. I mean, you know, you, you, we get to the point now where you just, you just sort of trust in the people to do the right thing. You know, you pull in, you pull onto a busy, busy main road without even looking in the opposite direction. In the, in the, um, the opposite direction. And they either slow down or they go around you. Yeah. Like a decent person would. Everybody is just, you know, gives way to one another. It's um, <laughs> it's a very Christian way of, uh, of driving. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Just very quiet. What do you think the flags mean? If I could read Vietnamese, then I would tell you, because there's a sign over there. Ask the driver's owner's right vehicle regulation. It's not history, it's where to park and shit. How are you? Good? Hello. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Now it's 37 degrees. Hey. I'm glad we stopped to wait for it to get hotter. He's off. You put headphones in. Let's go. Don't want to listen to our shit anymore. So we're just approaching Nimbin, and our route today takes us on a small out and back because there's something pretty special that we want to see. Uh, probably get the drones on for as well. Not sure how big of a city this is, based on every other one that we've been through. Pretty big, definitely hotting up now, 37 degrees on the Wahoos. We're feeling good, quite like this kind of temperature. Everything just works, and you haven't got to wear extra layers. The less kit, the better, really. Nimbim. As opposed to tagging. So this is, this is called Tran Hoa. Tran Hoa. Turn this down so yeah. it's not. Cleat came loose on my foot and now I can't unclip because the cleat just goes with it. Sorry guys. Come on mate, shit happens. I'm not even set cleats on. Should we have some food? Yeah. We haven't had lunch. 
or breakfast. I mean, views don't really get much better than that with food. Yeah. Pretty decent, isn't it? <laughs> Have you lost a cleat bolt? As if James is looking for it. I felt like such a knob. <laughs> Basically, a cleat bolt fell out, which happens, I guess, sometimes. I just can't have done it up like really, really tight. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have left them loose, but anyway, one's come undone. We're just hoping that one stays tight. Mate, we've got spare ones on our bottle cage extenders because they're recessed bolts. So we can nick one tonight. So I've just finished a uh, bit of food. It's quite nice, a bit touristy around here, but um, so the prices are slightly higher. The food was good and it was still cheap. So Nimbin and all of these rocks, that's where they filmed one of the King Kong movies. I think it's Kong Skull Island, one of the newest ones. And you can see why. It's mega. We're not on the island, no. You okay, sir? Mm. A bit tired. I feel a bit under the weather. I think it's just a combination of jet lag, lack of sleep, and... 23p beer. 23p beer. <laughs> Everything is written in English around here. Kind of miss the madness of being in a city without any touristy stuff. On the road again, about 30 miles to go. So in some of the towns you'll get little mini marts like that. They're really, really good. Slightly more expensive than the street stores and stuff, but you know what you're getting. Prices are actually posted on the items, which is pretty handy. It's like the one we went to this morning. Like I said, though, more expensive. It's a dog with a fish. Did you find your pharmacy? Oh, wow. a little what orange pills. Could be anything. It looked really, really shifty. He was a guy in the in like this this funny little hut, and then there was some Duff Duff music going on in the background, and he offered me these. So um, bottoms up. Bottoms up. Actually, just, um, just film his bloody fish. <laughs> He's yeah. been sat there like this. He wants me to film <laughs> it. I read about this fish before I came out here, and I found it. What is in it? Chocolate. Sir, I'm going to get one. I've been trying to work this out for a while. I think I finally worked it out. That's a bin. We're, the we're boxes such, outside the fucking their bins. We're such foreigners. Like, can uh -huh. you imagine anybody, any passers-by sat there going, look at these three Westerners filming, filming a, a bin. bin. <laughs> Last third of the ride now. Today has been absolutely beautiful. I think that was as stunning as Halong Bay easily. Trang Hopefully an. more of that to come. Trang An. Trang An, okay. And it was in Nimbin. Or next Just to Nimbin. outside Nimbin. Very pretty. Yeah, very Un easy. Unlike yeah. Halong Bay. Nimbin you can get to together. via the disused railway line. The active disused one. The active one. Yeah. Yeah. About 10 k to our destination now. We've really picked up some speed on these main roads. You can just coast along and most of the traffic isn't going that quick so you can get a cheeky draft in as well. Now I'm really in need of a foe. Or a pho, as they call it here. Oh yeah, it's stunning. It's not too hot. It's a nice distance. We've stopped a few times, made it into a nice little jolly. It's been good. Well, this is take us to our uh, hotel. Oh, hey man. Hello. <laughs> mile away. Yeah. All right. Made it 103 kilometers. Got a bit lost, but you know, made it to the hotel. It's good. It's good. We're not staying here. We've got to go somewhere else. I'm just kidding. Hey, you asshole! I <laughs> wish they could be all like this, man. The bigger Vietnamese cities are absolutely incredible. Well, I mean, look at this. It's kind of nice. There's this lovely open square over here. Swimming pool. There's a swimming pool. This hotel has cost us twelve pounds a night for all three of us. Twelve pounds. Yeah. Why is there a footprint in the ceiling? Do you think anyone's ever told Lawrence he's got really bad taste in music? Us every day. Oh, it's like it's his mum's playlist or something. There's no need for it. What? For security outside every shop. Probably creates jobs or something. Just sitting in the street eating his dinner. No reason. Another no reason. Thing for no reason. What's that? 
chicken fried rice. But I'll say it to them, and I'll just I'll just be greeted with a vacant expression of like probably saying it wrong. Probably, because guess what? I'm not Vietnamese. I was laughed at, but. I wonder whether these places they just specialise in like one type of meat. I think that's it, yeah. The water to beef place. And I asked for Hello! Hello! That's for chicken fried rice. And then they all laughed at me. Yeah. Big plate of rice and a beer each and soup. It was five quid. Wow. That's so cool. Has Loz not seen this yet, do you think? The whole aisle of chocolate milk. Like every time, like every time we get, there's a certain, there's a brand of supermarkets that we, we keep seeing, and every time we go in there, Lawrence goes in there, buys like one of these, and smashes the entire All pack. Of them. It's like naughty Nunu.